Hello and welcome to Sonos First Classes. Today we are discussing the IIT JAM 2020 Mathematical Statistics paper. And in this question we are told that for real constants A and B, the matrix M is defined as this. And it is also told that it is an orthogonal matrix. And which of the following statements is or are always true? So in orthogonal matrix, we know that the matrix itself multiplied by its transpose is equal to the identity matrix. So straight away option D is ruled out. M square is not equal to the identity matrix. Now the other properties that we know is that the square squares, sum of the squares of the first row should be equal to 1 which means 1 by root 2 whole square plus 1 by root 2 whole square is equal to 1 which is correct in this case. Similarly, the sum of the squares of the second row will also be equal to 1. So or in other words, a square plus b square is equal to 1. And the third condition is that the product of the first column plus the product of the second column is equal to 0. That means a into 1 by root 2 plus b into 1 by root 2 is equal to 0 or in other words a is equal to minus b or a plus b is equal to 0. So now we look at the other options. Option a, a plus b equal to 0 is correct. Option b, now this is an interesting choice. We have a square plus b square is equal to 1 and from that we can write b square is equal to 1 minus a square but b will be plus or minus of root over 1 minus a square. So here it is only the positive sign which is given which is not always true. So b is not correct. And last uh, option that is left is, is c. Now we have to find the values of a and b individually. So a plus b is equal to 0 or a is equal to minus b. We replace this value in this equation and we get 2a square is equal to 1 or a is equal to 1 by root 2. So I'm taking just the positive value because anyway the b will be uh, the reverse one. So b would be minus 1 by root 2 and alternately if I took the negative value here a would have been minus and b would have been plus. So the product of a b is minus of 1 by root 2 whole square which is minus half. So option C is also correct. We come to the next question and this one says that uh, there's a sequence of independent Bernoulli trials with probability of success of each trial is 1 by 5 then which of the following statements is or are true. Now we look at the options. The first option says expected number of trials required to get the first success. Now let x be the uh, event of success and y is 1 minus x or failure. Failure. So expectation of x is equal to 1 and expectation of x is probability of x into number of trials number of trials so probability of x is 1 by 5 number of trials is n expectation is 1 so n is equal to 5 so prob uh, expected number of trials required to get the first success that is expectation x is equal to 1 is 5 is 5 n is 5 so option a is correct option b expected number of successes in the first 50 trials expected number of success in the first 50 trials is probability of x 1 by 5 into number of trials 50 is equal to 10 so the expectation of number of successes in the first 50 trials is 10 so option B is also correct. Number C, expected number of failures preceding the first success is 4. Now 
we've defined failures as y. So expectation of y is 1 minus expectation of x, which is equal to 1, sorry, probability of y, probability of y is equal to 1 minus probability of x, which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 5, which is equal to 4 by 5. So probability of y is 4 by 5 and number of failures be n. So n into 4 by 5 is equal to 4. So therefore n is equal to 5. So in the first 5 trials, the number of failures would be 4. The expectation of that is 4. So option C is also correct. Now we move to option D which says expected number of trials required to get the second success. That means expectation of x is equal to 2. Second success. Expectation x equal to 2. And this is probability of x which is 1 by 5 into number of trials. So n is equal to 10. So expected number of trials required to get the second success is 10. So this is also correct. We, we have all four options correct in this case.